Greetings viewers, welcome to my channel, and today's video is going to be modifying my MXR M108S specifically on the LEDs. Now, this pedal is a very versatile 10-band EQ. It's built very well. It's a little pricey, but it is probably the best 10-band effects pedal on the market as far as I can see, but it's got one major flaw, and that major flaw is this. Ow, my eyes, that is so bright, even in the daylight here and with the overhead light on, you could see in the camera how much this is washing out with those blue LEDs. Some of the low tech and more simpler solutions to fix this problem have been just to put a Sharpie marker on each of the LEDs so that they're not as bright. I've seen people put gaffers tape over it after they've set it because essentially this pedal is always on for a lot of players and i've also seen a video which has probably been the most popular is to take one of these leds out and flip it around but what would that would cause is that all these leds would no longer light up but it's a lot better than being blinded by the blue leds I am going to go high tech on fixing this problem. Unfortunately, this is a little bit more difficult for your average user. You do require special surface mount device tools in order to modify this board. It's not as easily serviceable uh, with just a regular pencil iron, although we will likely use that tool as well. And, and what we're going to do is there are three resistors inside. They're a size 805 package, very small. And basically one resistor operates the first bank of five faders. There's another resistor that does the second bank of five. And finally, a third resistor that does the two outer ones here uh, on its own separate circuit. We're going to change that value from 2.2 kilo ohms all the way up to 47 kilo ohms. That's a much higher resistance. It's going to reduce the current going through those LEDs, which in turn will reduce the brightness. And I'm going to show you which, L which resistors those are. Here's the inside of the pedal and the circuit board. As you can see, it's all surface mount devices. Again, very small components. We're going to be replacing three resistors. I'm going to zoom in and steadily show you here. R13 and R37 are the resistors that you need to replace. The 222 stands for 2.2 kilo ohms. Those will handle each of the five banks of faders for the 10 band. And then for the two outer ones, you're going to need to replace R46. Those resistors we're going to replace from a 2.2 kilo ohms to a higher resistance, 47 kilo ohms. And just for sake of making sure that we're looking at this correctly, we're looking at revision G0, which was assembled in November of 2016. Now, in order to work on boards like this, you need what is called hot tweezers. This really makes things a lot easier. All it basically is is two soldering irons with special tips that are very, very small. As you can see here, I got the standard tips there, and it's perfect for this type of scenario. And what it basically does is you just, it just gets hot, and you go to the component that you want to get removed. It heats up both sides, and then you pull it off the board, and you're good to go. Now you can use a pencil iron and something called chip quick, which is basically solder that melts at a lower melting point. It stays molten longer, and then you can use your anti-static tweezers to lift the component off while the solder is still molten, and you can do it that way, but it takes a little bit more time. The tool that I have here makes the time spent on modifying this board much quicker. So what I did was I just made that modification. So now we have a 40, we're going to try the 47 kilo ohms first. And I also have 33 kilo ohms, which is a slightly lower resistance, which would mean a little bit brighter. But let's check this out. Now that one resistor handles a bank of five faders. And here's the difference. You see the difference? These are blasting you in the face, but these are far dimmer. Than what they were before now to my eyes past the camera 47 kilo ohms that's pretty dim i may just try 33 kilo ohms in this other bank and see how well 
of a difference that is. All right, it looks like there's no difference between 47 kilo ohms and 33 kilo ohms, so I'm going to stick with the 47 kilo ohms. It's about the same brightness. Here is the part number that I used. I stuck with actually a 33 kilo, kilo ohm resistor there because there really wasn't much of a difference in brightness between the 33 and the 47, so I stuck with the slightly lower resistance. And now, when they turn on, you can still see them but they're not blaring you in the face anymore. So, hope this video has helped. If you have any questions about the modification, the part number is right here, and that's what you would need to do to get these to be much dimmer and not have it blare in your face. So, thanks for watching. Cheers.